Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Daniel Yufa. This game was played in Qatar in 2015. Magnus Carlsen had white pieces and he started with c4. Is it going to be English opening? Definitely, maybe. Knight to f6. Knight to f3. g6. g3. Bishop to g7. Bishop to g2. And both players castled kingside. d6. Knight to c3. Knight to c6. d4. So we have a king's Indian defense. Fianchetto variation. Bishop to f5. Bishop to g5. Knight to e4. Knight takes on e4. Bishop takes on e4, threatening. Bishop takes knight, winning the pawn on d4. How would you continue? Carlsen played d5. Popular alternative move is bishop to e3, defending the pawn. We have d5, but now bishop takes on f3. Why to move? How would you recapture? With the bishop or with the pawn? Hmm? Carlsen recaptured with the pawn. This is a better move. Let's see why. If bishop takes on f3, then knight to e5, attacking the bishop and the pawn on c4. If rook to c1, bye-bye light square bishop. So e takes on f3 is a better move. Knight to d4. If knight to e5, then rook to c1. We have knight to d4. Rook to e1. Threatening bishop takes on e7. Defending the pawn. White to move. What is the best move for white? Carlsen played the best move. Rook to e4. Threatening rook takes knight. c5. D takes on c6 and passan. Knight takes on c6. Why to move? Perhaps defending the pawn on b2 comes to mind with the queen to d2 move. This looks like a sensible move, doesn't it? Carlsen played h4. Very interesting move. Allowing black to win the pawn. But Daniel Yufa did not take the gift. He played the queen to b6. If bishop takes on b2, rook to b1, bishop to g7, rook takes on b7, and after f4 at the right time, light square bishop would become very powerful piece. So we have a queen to b6, defending the pawn now. A5, attacking the queen, queen to c7, h5, queen to d2, knight to d4, position is quite complex. Black is dreaming of trapping the rook on e4. How would you continue now? Carlsen played a very deep move. H6. You will see the strength of this move very soon. F5, attacking the rook. Where is the rook going? Daniel Yufa is very excited. He is feeling very lucky. If rook goes to h4, bishop to f6. Carlsen 
capture the knight. E takes on d4. Bishop takes on d4. Black to move, what now? Yufa consider that the bishop takes bishop and I like it. He played bishop to f8. After bishop takes on d4, queen takes on d4 and black king is very vulnerable. Thanks to the pawn on h6. And also after f4, light squared bishop will be released. So we have bishop to f8, bishop to c3, both queen to d5 check and queen to d4 are on the menu. Queen takes on c4, f4, threatening, bishop to d5 check, winning the queen. Very powerful, light square bishop is released. What is the defense? Daniel Yufa played rook to e4. White to move. I guess many people would capture the rook with bishop. Do you agree? Magnus Carlsen played absolutely brilliant move. b3 attacking the queen. This is not a brilliant move because it is attacking the queen. With this move, Magnus Carlsen is setting up a battery. Bishop to a1, queen to b2, threatening queen to h8. There is no defense against that threat. Queen to c5, bishop to a1, d5. If bishop takes on h6, bishop takes rook, Pawn takes bishop, and now no rush with queen to b2. First, placing the rook on the open file. Then the queen to f5, perhaps. Queen to d4, and black would not last very long. After, say, king to f7, rook to c7, check, and so on. So, Daniel Yufa played d5. white to move. White. Play the move and black designed. Can you guess the move? Carlsen played rook to c1 and Daniel Yufa resigned. Possible continuation is queen to d6, bishop takes rook, d takes on e4, Queen to b2 as planned, king trying to escape, queen to h8, king to e8, queen takes pawn on h7, and even Houdini couldn't escape from this position, let alone black king. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.